Hello, this is Bino. Welcome to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. I've worked in the tree trade for 30 years. What I like to do with this channel is share tree care information, techniques for beginners and experienced people. Um, what I want to do today is I want to do, since I bought this new jet, notch jet step foot ascender, I, it got me to thinking that a lot of people who use an MRS system, they may foot lock up a tree. Well, I was kind of thinking that I'll do a foot lock simulation with the jet step. Having this jet step, it's better on older ropes that aren't current mantle construction. I want to see how it works. Let's get to it. Since I bought this notch jet step foot ascender, it got me to thinking that if I'm a guy who uses MRS all the time and, and I like to climb trees that way, chances are I've got half inch rope that aren't current mantle construction. It's, it's hard to think that I'd want to lose any of the ropes. So in, in, in an MRS system, a lot of guys will foot lock up a tree. Now foot locking is using a loop that you connect and then you foot lock up. So what you do on a foot lock is you'll do an alpine butterfly so what I'm going to do is create the alpine butterfly I'll make a loop in my line and now I'm going to get the other end and what I'm going to do is just cinch this to that branch that I'm going to go up to so this is how you would do it if you're going to do a foot lock right you go up you cinch your the branch you're going to climb to when you're foot locking you have to make sure that you're going to be able to stand up in the tree and what you'll do is lanyard in you disconnect everything you take off your your foot lock loop and then you'll retie your regular system so on foot locking you would use something like a clem heist this is a clem heist i'm not really showing how to tie it i'm just kind of showing what it looks like throw this through okay so and remember that I'm not really going to climb this knot and this not really the best looking clem heist but for purpose of explanation my clem heist would be here then I would get a carabiner connected to me then I would foot lock up to that branch when I get there I lanyard in I disconnect the system and then I'm ready to do the MRS system or DDRT so that got me thinking with this jet step it I'm understanding and I've been trying it on different my different older ropes and it's been great on not ruining them so I thought well so if I was gonna foot lock I'd already have this set up so what I'll do is I'll just get my regular climbing system for MRS and I like to use a Mitchell con so I'll set it up just like I'm gonna do my regular climb. Okay. My normal thing to use is a hitch climber pulley. I like the hitch climber just because it has the three different beckets on it and I can use those for different things. Okay. Now I got that set up. Now I know that this is not a single rope system. If I start putting my weight on it, this knot gets cinched up I could get stuck in the tree so definitely not a single rope system but I thought hey use it just like I was gonna foot lock but instead of foot locking I'm gonna use a single line same way if I was gonna foot lock I'll proceed up the tree using the jet step foot ascender I'll get to my point where I want to tie in and I'll redo it the same way I would have if I was foot locking so we'll give it a try now that I have the knot uh, my hitch set up I'm going to get this portion of the line out of the way. Now I don't want to tie it to my bag because I need it to be free. So I'm just going to give it like a wrap. So it's a little bit out of my way. Not really a wrap, just kind of just get it out of my way. Now I'll connect this hitch to my belt. 
I'm also going to connect it to my chesty. That will help me pull my knot up. I'll put the gloves on because I like to I like the way they grip the line. Got that all set up. Kick this out of the way. Connect my jet step. Pop it in. All right. Now I'm going to proceed up the line. Once I get up here, what I'll do is I'm going to lanyard in. There I go. Now that I reached the top where I want to work, all I need to do, it's important to know that, yeah, when, when you go up on this without, say, a rope wrench, this knot will lock up on you. So there's no way you're going to be able to move around. But now that I've taken my weight off of it, I can move move it. Now I will have to take this completely off to reset my line, and I would have to do it if I was foot locking. So right now let me take this off. Okay. Get all set with that. For now, I'm just going to clip it to my chesty so it's out of my way. Okay. Then I'll re I'll grab my line here. I'm going to just pull it through. Okay. Now that I pulled it through, I'm going to undo the butterfly. And I'm going to reset my line where I'm going to want to climb from. So. Okay. So I'll just use this branch here. Okay. So now what I'll do. This is my terminal end. So I'll get my carabiner. Connect it to my saddle. I'm going to use a double fisherman's bin. That's my that I, I really like to use for my system. So you can see that. Termination knot all set up. Get it the way I want it to be. And I'm going to grab my press it cord here. Get it on the long end of your rope. <laughs> it would be kind of crappy if you put it on the wrong side. Okay. My climbing hitch. Pulley. Connect to where I like it on my post. All right. Get all set up. Once I got tension on my line, disconnect. And now I'd be ready to work the tree. From here, I can advance, um, go anywhere I want the tree. But I'm going to go back down to the ground. Let me get my gloves on. Here I go.
Well, there you go. Well, there you go. Instead of foot locking, using that jet step, using a single rope, but on an MRS system, knowing that if I were to go up and I put weight on my hitch, my hitch, I wouldn't be able to move it. So definitely got to make sure you get to the line, but switched out and I was able to come down really simply. Um, now that I've come down to the ground, I'm noticing that on my, my regular line, this notch jet step foot ascender hasn't done any kind of damage to it. I've used it on a few different lines, my regular lines, and I'm finding that it's doing great on it. Remember, when you're doing this type of stuff, something new, do it low and slow. I hope you enjoyed the video. This foot ascender is still new to me. So if you guys have that notch jet step foot ascender, you've been using it for a while, make comments, let me know what you think of it. Do you like it? Is it good? Has it messed up your lines? I'm really interested to, to know what your opinion is. Anyhow, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos with your friends. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.